New at 10, a man's life will never be the same after he was struck by a hit and run driver. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. The victim was riding his motorcycle when he was hit, and tonight he's facing a very long recovery. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live in the medical center with a story you'll see only on two tonight. Bryce? Daniela, that 21 year old is still here in the hospital, but now without a foot and in a slow recovery from that motorcycle crash over the weekend. Now the search is on for the driver that Harris County Precinct 7 deputy constables say hit him and took off. Riding is the thing that makes him the happiest, really. Christopher Reed and his motorcycle are never far apart. That's what makes him him. This is the last photo he sent his girlfriend Caitlin Bradley before a ride that landed him in the operating room at Ben Taub Hospital. Worst nightmare. You know, I never wanted to get that call. Reed and his good friend were traveling westbound on the South Beltway near Texas 288 Sunday night around 1030 when a white car pulled up next to them. He stuck his arm out the window and he, you know, gave us a thumbs up. That's when Reed's friend Allison Smothers says the two motorcyclists sped up a bit. I did not like how close he was behind me, so I swerved back really hard into the left lane. The white car sped around her, wove around a car in front of her and kept going. She says as if he was trying to catch up to her friend. As I come over the hill, there's all this smoke. And I just see Chris laying in the shoulder. But Smother says the white car was gone. The Harris County Precinct 7 Constable's Office tells KPRC2 the driver of the white vehicle hit the motorcycle driver, dragging him for several feet, then fled the scene. There's a guy laying on, on the ground and then you run. It's it's just unbelievable. Reed's backpack and helmet now scratched and scuffed. His girlfriend says he's in excruciating pain. Doctors amputated his lower left leg and may have to do more. You change someone's life forever. You know, it's not it's not OK. And I really hope that they do the right thing. And tonight, the constable's office tells us that this is still an active investigation. They have limited information at this time. But if you have any idea who may have done this, you're asked to contact the Precinct 7 24-7 dispatch line. That number 713-643-6602. We're live in the Med Center tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Brian.